Here we have a problem where we've been asked to rationalize the denominator. In this case, the denominator contains a radical with a fifth root. To rationalize the denominator means that we want to rewrite this expression in an equivalent form which does not contain a radical in the denominator. The first thing we need to review is a property that looks like this says that if you have the nth root of any base to the nth power where a, the base, is a non-negative number, the result is just simply a. <clears throat> Basically you can think of it as the index n and the power n, since they're matching, they undo each other. And so you can just take the answer as a. So our goal here is to see if we can rewrite this radical expression in the bottom so that it follows this property. Because if it did, then we would be able to rewrite it without the radical. So the first thing you want to do is factor the denominator and see what you're working with. So in other words, the number 9, what are the prime factors of 9? We know that it's 3 times 3. Well, we can write that as 3 squared. And then we also have x to the third power. <clears throat> the property says that if this was a 5, then we could actually take the fifth root of 3 to the fifth uh, and evaluate it like this way and just get an answer of 3. And we would also really like this one to be a 5. At this point, we have a 2 and a 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by another fifth root such that what we put inside there will combine with what was underneath the original root and give us 5 for our exponents on each of these bases. <clears throat> Currently I have 3 squared, so in order to get that up to 3 to the fifth, I would need 3 more 3's, in other words 3 cubed. And then, in order to get x cubed up to x to the fifth, I would need two more. So I'm going to multiply the denominator by the fifth root of 3 cubed x squared. And because of the property of fractions, um, we need to do the same thing to the top in order to not change the value. So I'm going to put the fifth root of 3 cubed x squared up here too. <clears throat> now, Let's see if we can multiply straight across in the numerator and the denominator this original problem times this part here and see what we get. This would be equal to, on the top, you just basically write 6 next to the fifth root of, and we can work this out, 27x squared. On the bottom, I'm going to break it down for a second and actually combine them together into one fifth root but uh, 3 squared times 3 cubed can be rewritten as 3 to the fifth and then x cubed times x squared can be rewritten as x to the fifth and so voila now you can see that this property right here will apply to this denominator here and we can actually rewrite the whole expression without any radicals in the bottom. Only the top alone again, uh, because there's nothing that we can simplify here. It's really the denominator we're focusing on when we're doing these problems. And then in the bottom, the fifth root of 3 to the fifth is simply 3, and the fifth root of x to the fifth is simply x. <clears throat> you might be done at this point, because you have technically rationalized the denominator. You can see it doesn't have any radical on it anymore. But they'll always want you to check if it can simplify. And if you look here, there's a 3 and a 6. And those are just regular coefficients, so they can be reduced by a factor of 3. So that would actually reduce to 2 and 1. So let's write, write the problem as 2 times the fifth root of 27x squared over just 1x. Now you have your answer, 
it's fully simplified, and the denominator is rationalized. Made with DoodleCast Pro.